Well, an interesting day of football, a lot of refereeing controversy, even on Saturday with the Man City Chelsea FA Cup semi. We had it again in the United Coventry semi and also in the Everton Nottingham Forest game. We'll talk about that. But um, first off, straight off the uh, off the cuff here, a bit of an odd thing that I saw today, scrolling through my Twitter feed, and I see this from Lee Gunner, who says, Hi, at Terry Fluors, who is the host of the Football Terrace. And you'll notice the detail, which I'll point out in a second, if you haven't seen it already. But he says, I seem to have had multiple comments deleted on your channel this week and appear to have been banned and blocked from commenting. I checked it on my Reacts account and I can't seem to find any of my comments using my main. Any reason for that? And then I'm thinking, what is the reason here? And then I'm looking and I'm looking at this, I'm looking and I'm saying, hang on, something doesn't sound right here. There's meant to be a blue highlight here. And of course, when I go into a new tab and I search, I get this. <laughs> Look, fair enough. People can block anyone they want. That's not a problem. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was interacting with, I don't know, Lee Gunner's tweet, perhaps. Maybe he doesn't like my coverage of him. Surely he might have seen what I've been saying, just you know, calling out some of his practices with the thumbnails and the content and all that sort of stuff. Maybe he doesn't like it. Fair enough. I mean, I am a football commentary channel as much as I am a Liverpool channel, yeah, to some extent. So fair enough. You want to block me? By all means, no problems. I'll still watch your stuff. I'll still nitpick at what you say. If I find something to speak about, you best believe it will be there. You know, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We will be there. We will be there. And of course, just in response to that, they tweeted on the uh, on the community tab saying, no user is blocked from the football terrace. Thank you, TFT admin. So maybe they did it beforehand and then posted this. Maybe this is somebody else's. It's hard to say. You can't really um, see what it is. Even looking at it, there's no actual anything. So this could be a screenshot. Uh, I mean, you can see a little bit of the... Uh, of the screen grab down the bottom there. It doesn't specifically say the football terrace, so who knows, might have been removed or whatever. Um, yeah, it is what it is. So anyways, there's a bit of uh, uh, football YouTube drama for you out there. But now to more uh, pressing matters. We had the, um, the Nottingham Forest account tweet out something that I had never seen before. Now, we know with Liverpool, we tweeted out with the whole Tottenham uh, Tottenham Hotspur thing with the VAR, good process and all that sort of stuff and incorrect red cards and obviously the goal that should have been given onside but was called offside because they couldn't decide what the fuck they were checking for. Nottingham Forest were, by their own accounts, denied three penalty calls and they say three extremely poor decisions three penalties not given which we simply cannot accept we warned the pgmol that the var is a luton fan before the game but they didn't cha uh, change him our patience has been tested multiple times now of course luton being in the uh, relegation battle as well with nottingham forest everton to a lesser extent because they got their win even though they got the whole points deduction so they're saying, okay, there's a bit of an issue here. We've got a Luton known referee, Stuart Atwell, in the VAR box. So how can we trust that he's going to make the right decisions if things are meant to go our way? Because, of course, if Nottingham Forest lose and Luton win, then they get out of the relegation zone. I think there is still a chance for them. So there's a bit of conflict there. It says Nottingham Forest FC would now consider options. Now, football tweet says, might be the most embarrassing tweet from an official club account of all time. Now... The fact that they say this, some people have said yes, some people have said no. Uh, one of the responses says, uh, sorry, but you're out of touch here. Football account, how have you not seen the steep decline of officiating over the past year or so? About time clubs started calling out, otherwise nothing changes. And it says, no problem calling out poor officiating. The decisions were bad today, but to accuse someone of cheating or blatant corruption because they're a Luton fan on social media is utterly embarrassing. I don't see them calling out cheating. I see them saying, hang on a second, there's a bit of an issue here. You are literally putting somebody on that may have a massive conflict of interest. Why are they officiating this match? And of course, we saw what happened thereafter. We saw the uh, potential decisions here. Ashley Young, kick on the back of the heel, no penalty. Some say, you know, maybe that's a little bit soft. Maybe it goes down a bit too easily. Okay, fair enough. The second one here, the handball, which we'll get to in a moment. We'll come back to that one. And this one here, tackle from behind, gets the player from the back of the heel, sweeps him out, no contact with the ball whatsoever. Apparently that was all cleared. Shout out to Igal for the um, for the references here. So that's what they're, uh, they're upset about. I mean, Ashley Young had his arm out 
for that potential handball. Uh, but this tackle, no ball was had here. Anthony Taylor, referee on the pitch, called no no pen. Stuart Atwell, VAR, apparently a known Luton Town fan, uh, fan, said no pen, and they moved on. Nottingham Forest, as you saw, spoke out, and a lot of people have been taken aback by this. They've um, not been happy at all. I mean, Mark Clattenburg, who is the you know, refereeing advisor or whatever for Nottingham Forest, um, you know, advised them to do this. A lot of people have joked and said this is the owner taking the official club's account and tweeting out what he wants to say. Maybe, maybe he did, you know, perhaps, we, we don't know. But Gary Neville says Mark Clattenburg must resign from his role at Nottingham Forest after club's inc incendiary tweet accusing VR of being a Luton fan and moaning at three extremely poor decisions. I mean, I think it is known he's a Luton fan. Nottingham Forest said we mentioned this beforehand, they did nothing. Look at what happened. Three decisions. Um, very, very suspect. So we need to look into this and you need to answer for what it is that you have you have done here. Now, there was a section here. It says, Gary Neville just says the quiet part out loud. We, the PJ woman, can do whatever and you have no options. Well, let's see what he actually says. What are your options? Your options are you can whinge a little bit if you want. You can be upset, but you haven't got any options. So no matter what you do, complain all you want, bitch and moan, send in your request for corrections and investigations and all that, but ultimately nothing is going to happen. So effectively, do whatever you want, but nothing is going to happen. So there is no say whatsoever in all of this. And look, they have been hard done by, I do have to say. And it's a bit of an odd one. Let's see. There was an, another extra bit here that Mr. Neville says. Mark Clattenburg must, re Mark Clattenburg must resign tonight. He must resign from his job at Nottingham Forest. Why? Because if he sees those words go out which question the integrity and essentially call a VAR official a cheat because he supports a certain club, then he's part he's supporting what's being said. And he would basically lose all credibility, I think, with referees in the game. He should stand down tonight and distance himself from that statement, in my opinion. Well we know Interesting. When this happened to Liverpool, when they had issues with the referees, everyone said, oh, yeah, VAR's wrong on that one. They've actually screwed that one royally. Yeah, Liverpool were, are right to be very upset. So Liverpool put a statement out there and they said, look, this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. We will be investigating further. This is unacceptable. Oh, they can't do that. How, how terrible of them. That that's, they, they can't be doing those things. That's embarrassing. What are they going to want? Oh, we want replays and all this and that, blah, blah, blah. So 24 hours prior to that, Everyone was in agreement. Well, if you're in agreement and you can see something is wrong with VAR, but then the next day you want to say, well, you can't really complain about it because you're questioning the integrity of the officials. Yes, that is exactly what they are doing. That is the whole point of criticism and pointing the finger and saying, hang on a second, we have a checklist of, and examples of, of things here that are very, very suspect. You need to account for these. But of course, PGOMOL, they are as, um, what is Mark Albridge, a, a dictatorship. You cannot speak ill about them. You just have to do whatever they say. You have no rebuttal whatsoever. There it is there. About time, club started fighting back. Chelsea should follow suit because, of course, we did see that there was the the handball, a uh, very terrible handball that uh, happened to uh, Man City. Uh, Man City to Chelsea uh, against Man City. I did have some pictures up here, but they've uh, completely disappeared now. So just give me one sec here while we do this and do this in real time and maybe make something happen. Let's do it. As Tone Loke once said. Here we go. We're in business now. Okay. So this year. The handball. This was terrible. This is probably the worst of the bunch from this weekend. So we saw the uh we saw the actually young one. There's Palmer, take the free kick. There's Grealish's hand up and then back down off his arm, clear as day. It goes out wide. Should be a penalty, if not a corner, was given as a goal kick. Even VAR chalked it off and said, Yeah, nah, nothing doing there. A little bit suspect, very much suspect. This was the most bullshit one of the day because of course with the whole Ashley Young one as we saw prior we did see the Ashley Young handball uh where were we here let's go back to was it this one here not that one where are we I did see where were those where were those images bloody hell I just had them anyways 
Let's have a look at the handball in uh, in slow-mo. So there's one tackle here. This was the handball. Now, this one you can say is from close proximity. Very close proximity there. You can say, okay, maybe that's a little bit harsh there. But the other tackle, definitely. But that was looked at and said no handball, whatever reason, right? And then you go to this. This one is more clearer than this one, uh, than the Ashley Young one, I should say. Ball deflected off Grealish's arm, out for a corner. Should have been a penalty. Goal kick was given. Chelsea very much should be hard done by that. Should be looking at this and saying, okay, what the fuck have we just witnessed here? Now, I'm not saying that this would have meant Chelsea would score it and go on to win the game, but definitely should have been given in the context of the match at that point. Now, that was not called by Michael Oliver, who was the on-field referee. was not called by uh, VAR for him to have a look at. And that is criminal in my in my uh, opinion. It's pretty bad. Now, Michael Oliver has had some refereeing decisions that were very questionable in the league this year. Obviously, um, that handball there, we had um, uh, Doku's kick on McAllister in the Liverpool Man City game where he didn't call it and VAR said, yeah, okay, whatever, let it pass and what, it didn't want to make a decision. And it didn't send Kovacic off for, if not a straight red, two yellow cards when Arsenal played Man City. And of course, Arsenal won that game. And if Arsenal were not to win that game and Kovacic was to be involved, everyone would be pointing the fingers and saying, okay, why was Kovacic not sent off? That's pretty much bullshit. Now, your conspiracy theories, lay them out if you like. Um, over time, more water is being filled into that conspiracy bucket and it is starting to get a little bit heavier, if not ever so slightly, because you see things like this and you question to yourself, what the hell is happening with this sport? Handballs are given for things like that. But of course, handball was not given for, uh, sorry, a handball was given rather to Manchester United when you could probably look at this and say, maybe this was not a handball out of all three of them, as you see the thumbnail, but was given as a handball. So, I mean, United were 3-0 up, and in typical United fashion, embarrassing as it was, conceded three goals in the, um, was it in, in injury time or something like that, close to, and then it went through an extra time, and if not but for millimetres or inches, they could have gone out 4-3 to Coventry, who are like mid-table or lower lower top uh, top half in the championship, right? Winning on penalties uh, and not even wanting to celebrate that win, fair enough. One Basaka is, what, a one, uh, I can't even watch the damn video. He is one metre away. Uh, that's another example here, and a handball there. Bloody hell, should have checked the video beforehand. Yeah, there's the, the handball there again. Let's go. I can't even search. What's going on here? Bloody hell. Handball. Here we go. One Basaka. Let's have a look here. Look how close he is. Look at how close he is there. That's messed up. He's what? One or two meters? Two meters at best? from when that ball comes in so quick. And even then, if you actually watch the, the replay, he tries to move his hand back behind his his um behind himself by his side. It's just he's not quick enough to move it down. So you said that's probably the most harsh out of all of them. Even Ashley Young's, he sort of like moves his arm out a little bit. You can say, fair enough, that maybe would have been a handball. But this, that was probably the most harsh one out of all of them. I mean, what is he supposed to do? I mean, if you compare the, the Grealish one, Again, you want to look at this one here. Like, look how far away he is. There's plenty of time for he to hit it. And his arm's out as well. That's madness. That's that's why you're looking at this and you think, like, how the hell is that not, not a handball? Clearly off his arm. Oh, and should have been a penalty. Wasn't. But, you know, this is what actually got called as a penalty. That is actually mad. So there's your VAR. We've got clubs that are actually taking a stance against the PGMOL and the league or the FA or whoever it is that they that they wanted to take this against. And now we've got people like mainstream media, the main broadcasters all saying, well, this is wrong. This is embarrassing from a club. Well, hang on a second. If you have been wrong done by, would you not want to speak out and say, hang the fuck on a minute. This is complete bullshit. Conflict of interest. We told you about this beforehand. You did nothing. If nothing happened in this match, if there were no contentious decisions, you would probably know where, not a chance you would have seen that Nottingham Forest uh 
a tweet come out or the, the statement or whatever. That would not have happened. But because you gave them a reason to speak, they spoke out. And that's what they're that's what people are panicking about. Nottingham Forest are speaking out. Liverpool are speaking out. Arsenal are speaking out. Everyone that has been wrong done by from the PGMOL, apologies mean jack shit after the fact. They're not going to change what happened. It is what it is. Oh, sorry, Liverpool, you were denied a clear goal. We can't take that back now. It is what it is. Well, fuck me. We lose the league by a point, let's just say. Everyone will question that decision. Not just that one. There's been another three or four over time. But we can't speak about it because the integrity of the league and all that sort of shit and the referees and all that. Yeah. You let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you on the next one.